three, two, one. Here we go. Let's get ready to suck it. <laughs> Welcome to your room. Snack bar, Lambo Field. I was scalded by the cheese of a flaming hot nacho. You play to win the game. He starts to come and then he pulls out. Hope it's from a slice of gabagool. Finish it. Welcome back to another episode of the DudeCast mm-hmm. with your two favorite dudes. Mm-hmm. I'm Dom. He's Mark. That's back right. again, and it is so good it's to be back, brother man. That's right. We're back. Episode 28. Eight. It's the I Curtis it. Martin episode. It is. Um, here at the Chop Sports Studios, Madawan, Jers, on the Chop Sports Network, the Jump Streaming Network. Which we're gonna be doing on Saturday at the Premier Streaming Network Wrestling Wrestling Expo, Expo which is gonna be sick. showcase uh, showcase whatever. Uh, once again, joining with us is the Bird Lady. First Lady, First Lady, First lady. First lady. so wavy, Lady, lady of the, the Bird, bird. sister Bird Lady. Ariel Junk. in the building. Yep, Ariel in the building. What's up, Junk? I'm in a new spot today. Woo! Kind of like, like we're it. back home. Let's hit him with a dude shake. We have a dude dude shake. Dude. Dude. Virtual dude shake. shake. The yes. iconic, very iconic dude oh, yeah. I don't even remember when we made that up. That was, I don't even think we were any, I was like, mm. oh, I want to say maybe on vacation. No, it was a, like. It's well, a million years yeah, ago, it's bro. So, so long ago, ago, like 15 yeah. years ago. At maybe. least. Yeah. At the, at the very least. And it's Aged still well. going strong. Yeah, still goes strong. Still hard body. That's right. I'll tell you what didn't age well. What? I posted on Facebook today. Actually, there was a oh, <laughs> me yeah, I saw that. Uh, because it is football season oh, tonight. Yeah. There's football, actually a football game, which tonight. is cool. But I post I posted a, uh, a Facebook from 11 years ago. It was a meme of Aaron Maben on the Jets, and he had like th- three sacks in uh-huh. four games or I something. That. He was hot for like a I month, that. and then fell back into mm-hmm. irrelevancy after that. So um, I said that didn't age well. It aged yeah. as well as uh, the Aaron Maben jersey that I bought. Bro, but, uh, think about that. That was what 2011. You said. It was 11 years ago, 11 so years yeah. Ago. yeah. So probably right. That's like the beginning of like memes like that, too. Probably. Yeah. Like that basic font meme with yeah. the picture and then the fucking, <laughs> just the basic font. The ones that Dom used to make it work yep. when he was Oh, bored. my God. Yep. Custom memes <laughs> yeah. and group chats were always the best. Oh, yeah. Sick. Always. So sick. Always, brother. But it's been like, uh, you know, we said football season. Th- football season. Got a lot on the docket. Football's uh, one of them. Yes, sir. It's been... Dumb hot for no reason. This fi- it's final summer's final. Fuck you to everybody <laughs> that hates the summer True. is happening this week. Yep. That's been the ninety eight hundred degree days that we've had the last week, which are hopefully going to die next week. They will. It's going to rain. Good. Good. Last Thursday down. I was freezing. This Thursday I'm sweating. Bro, I had to cut the lawn on Tuesday. What? I was like, Are you kidding me? A pool. Dude, I just got home from work. I worked like mad long. I'm sweating from that. I just get home. I'm like, I'm just going to do it now because tomorrow's going to be even hotter. I'm like, it's going to be even hotter tomorrow. So might as well do it now. I was done. I was cooked because my parents don't have a small lawn. You got that side lot. Yeah, it's a lot of say, grass. Yeah, yeah, the side lot. You got a lot it's of grass decent property. There. Yeah. Takes me a solid 25 to 40 minutes or 25 minutes to a half hour to do the whole fucking thing. No, and that's what's stopping and bagging. I beg. My neighbors don't beg. Kind of shitty. Um, I don't beg because I don't, I don't care. Yeah, my dad can. Um, because <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's true. Listen, I'm a believer in the I bagging wish. system. Yeah, yeah. Trust me. I'm all for the nice lawn. I just hated my fucking grass in my yeah. house so much that I was like, you know what? It's all weeds anyway. Yeah, fuck it. No bag. I'm yeah. getting this done as soon as I can. And then yeah. edging. That's another thing too, man. Yeah. Um. I get it. I'm a you know a nice lawn. You want to edge? Yeah. I just didn't care. I just wanted the grass cut, and especially with, when the fucking heat is. Oh, what done. Is that was, I told you, torture, cooking, bro. torture. Cooking. Oh, I agree. Mowing a lawn is such Whoa. torture. Yeah, I it mowed is. so many lawns. <laughs> <laughs> At least we make podcast money now, so we can pay people to do our yeah. lawns, man. You know, yeah. we got it like that. I'm not making that money, <laughs> but, mm-hmm. but um, yes. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck was I gonna say? Oh yeah. We were talking about that. You, I, you were posting something like we were talking about that fucking lady, right? That was on the plane. Tiffany Gomez or whatever Gomez, her name whatever is. Whatever her name is. Yeah, yeah. The, this motherfucker is Whoa. not real. Lady. Yeah, that yeah. lady. Because I saw we posted it recently. I was like, oh, yeah. The shit that popped up after that. Remember she like came out and said like, oh, I'm sorry. Like yeah. shit like that. You, you, you people watch that and like really think that's the same person? I don't. 
I, they I, don't I, look, I said that immediately. Bro, they don't look anything I, alike. I agree. I'm like, what? Like, I don't even see how you pass this woman off as the same woman. I mean, this they is a complete conspiracy alike. layup right here yeah, for us, Yeah, 100%. I mean, this is... <laughs> He's on fire. That's what the yeah. You know who's not real? Yeah, that person. That fucking girl's is not, not real. real. There was a guy. He ran like facial AI, and like you know, on both of them, it came back at less than one percent. That it's not the same. person. Yeah, if it was the same person, you see that? it would be like ninety nine, ninety five to one hundred percent. So I'm I'm confused. So then the lady who went crazy on the plane. What happened to her? Where Where's she? she? Why Maybe they it, snuffed her out. Why is it different? You know what? Because that person she saw probably really was an alien. Yeah, maybe they snuffed her oh, out. They, she definitely they, saw something. They got yeah. rid of her. And they fucking see you. And then they come out. Oh, it's no, you know, yeah, it was me. But so that wasn't initial you. video. And Go ahead. the fucking other thing, somebody else traced that IP address from the lady that posted the shit saying, oh, this night, guess where it came back to? D.C.? Washington, D.C. Crazy. Interesting. All right? Yeah. Yeah, so there was two videos that I saw. Yeah, see, I saw since. her send in a video and one from TMZ right. with her interview, and both of them don't look like no, her. No, so I think the, the, TMZ the two look the same. Oh, you think it's the same person in those two videos? So yes. I, I thought this first follow-up video, the apology video, Yeah, I thought that didn't look like her No, yeah, exactly. All. I agree with you. Then that second TMZ video. I think that looks like the girl in the apology video. See, no, I think it looks like nah. Tiffany. Nah, watch it again. I, I guess Watch I have it again. to. I'm telling I, I, you. I thought that one looked more like her. No. I'm but telling still, you. It's dude, the hair color, The too. whole thing's still It's sketchy. the hair color, too. Yeah. That gets me. But her, you know what got me on that TMZ video, though, is that she kind of didn't want to divulge too much on like what happened afterwards. Yeah. Like She can't say anything. She didn't admit that she didn't see anything. Yeah. She didn't come out and really say that. Um but so I don't know, man. And then, I just feel and like she's not the same. I apparently, feel like she repackaged herself since, and you know, she's like this mental health awareness person now, or something like. Maybe that's just a jumping God. off point you know, to get this other thing. person famous. Yeah, you know, exactly. Something snuff out there, the man. real one. Yep. Let's make this person famous, like the Paul McCartney fucking conspiracy well, you, that Paul McCartney died years ago, and they found this, oh, yeah. this other guy that looks exactly like him, and they just put him in. I'm and, convinced that the Britney Spears that's out there now is not really her. Ah, uh, dude, I agree. You see her? I yeah. agree. She's Woo. psycho. That doesn't even look like her. And you could say that about a lot of the celebrities. Yeah. You can say that about the president. You say, yeah. I mean, and listen, I still want to have an episode. Of Conspiracy uh, Corner, and we'll have Russo in yeah. there. Yes. Oh, yeah. We definitely have to dive into some of these. Yeah. I mean, but some of these newer ones now. Yeah. Um, I will say, Tiffany, uh, the chick from the plane, she saw something. She's I think so. probably She's gone. probably smoked. They buried her under the <laughs> fucking White House. <laughs> yeah. And now they just poor like, gonna, they're going to, yeah, poor Tiffany's right. <laughs> free Tiffany. Yeah. Free Tiffany, she free could be, Or she could be in Gatmo. They got her ass in Guantanamo. Guantanamo, yeah. yeah, yeah, dude. Who the hell really knows what's going on? Especially in that whole celebrity dark world yeah. that's out there, and bro. it's there. And you there's can't so much, to, yeah, yeah, to divulge it's, into. Yeah, it's it's beyond a approach. Lot. It's so much. There is. You a can't lot. even get started on any of that because it's so much. And, and there's so much that it's hard to really decipher what's real and what's not, man. Yeah, you don't know. You you really don't fucking yeah. know. There's so there's much so, out yeah, there. Yeah, like even like Ice T came out and Ice T Cube was talking about some shit. Like, you know, I'm not in the club. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But he's like, you know the club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this club. Yeah, that you one. know the club. <laughs> Love when Jim Carrey always pulls some shit out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, you don't know what this means? Come on. <laughs> Come on. He's another mysterious one, man. Yeah. He just knows too much. Yeah. And you don't care anymore. You don't care. And some of those people. Why, they, why is he still alive then? That's what I want to know. Because he's the one that seems like he's the biggest rebel yeah. that just does not care and will say whatever. Well, there's a lot like Doesn't that. Doesn't Russell Brand I'm about say to say, yeah. Russell Brand yeah. is another one. Own. Russell Brand is the man, yeah, by the way. Yeah, he's great. He's the I love fucking his man. Like, when he came on the scene, like, you're thinking maybe this guy's like a fucking joke or whatever. Like, you know what well, I'm saying? He was like, like a comedian. Yeah, and stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, like, since, like, his first couple movies, in which I enjoyed, and, like, you get into him, like, it's, like, what he does, like... He's about it. He's, he ain't no fucking oh, yeah. joke. I no. fuck with Russell Brand. He's a smart motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, he questions a lot of things, and that's what smart people do, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, you question things. So, yeah. Yeah. Big fan of Russell Brand, man. But I definitely mm -hmm. want to do the Conspiracy Corner. Oh, yeah. We're definitely that's doing gonna that. That's going to be a really good episode. We have to talk to Mr. Russo about that. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, sure. For sure. So, yeah. yeah. Um, and then come to our Devil's concert. <laughs> I don't know when we're playing it. Plug it. 
Dark G- Give an early plug. We're, we're, uh, yeah, the, th- the good old threat is going to be playing a Devil's game. Oh, shit. Yeah. I don't know when we're going to get a fucking date, but then we probably actually have to sell tickets, but like it's not like the same as selling tickets to a show. You right. know what I'm saying? We're selling tickets to people who are probably going to the game anyway. So you're selling just de- uh, tickets Devil's to the game. Ticket. Devil's I'm tickets, selling right? deck of Devil's tickets. Yeah, that's cool. That's what it is. And, like, the cool thing is, though, if people do buy tickets from us, they get to go down on the ice and hang out after the game. No shit. Ice and shit. So they started doing this, what, like last, last year? Last year where they had Where they have these promotions. Bands, right? It's not just hardcore bands. It's all genres. Really? And they have all these bands come, and they play the concourse. And so people get to I hang out that. and fucking watch music. So either it's, pr- I think we could play either pre, first admission, or second intermission. So I'll probably pick, I think we should probably play pre-game. Because then you're going to get everybody who's up. walking in also yeah, and people yeah. are hyped up and shit for the game. And then you can just like enjoy the yeah, game Yeah, the rest the of the rest day. Because we're going to get good ass seats to watch the game and shit. <laughs> Excuse me. But no, it should be like, you know, it should be just a good time. You know, like I said, we're going to sell tickets. Like I said, if we have to sell tickets for it, it's not like, oh, just come see my band. It's like, oh, you going to the Devil's game that day? You just go to Devil's fans. You go to the Devil's game. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. We'll buy these tickets for the Devil's game. You get to do this afterwards too. Oh, cool! I couldn't tell you last time I went to a hockey game. Oh dude, yeah, but they're fun, dude. Dude, they're fun. And especially yeah. now, Devils are good. It's easier to get people to go. Yeah, that always helps. Yeah, the only New Jersey team. Exactly. Yeah. Fucking shame. Respect though, man. <laughs> we need a real baseball team. I would take a real baseball team in Jersey, like the Jersey like jerks. <laughs> the Jersey jerks. Yeah, I'm down with that. We at least should at least have like a good, well, we do have triple A teams, but they're whack. Yeah. Like the Patriots and no shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, wait, we were talking about you want to do a tournament? You want to do a tournament? Yeah, man. Junk's never done a tournament. I've Junk's never first tournament. Never done a tournament. <laughs> so, yeah, she's never done a tournament. And it's, it's nice crazy, to have man. that third person, too, for the tiebreaker. Yeah, because sometimes tiebreakers are tough. We usually just do a rock, paper, scissors. Oh, so. no. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. So now we got easy. <laughs> All right. So, we so were what talking do we have? About what do we have? It. Well, we were talking about on the way, you know, Beforehand, I gave you guys a choice, and you guys picked out of the, the slob moves is up there. We're definitely getting to that one. Uh huh. But I there was like uh, that's also, what just top slob moves of yo, all time. Yeah. And then there was like, uh, the other one was like uh, your biggest daily enemies and shit like that. But the one you guys picked was things that made you a cool kid. That's right. So these are the fucking top things that made you. Be so cool. we're going back Throwing to the back 80s, in the day, 90s, the 90s what made you, early also, 2000s. Yeah, also early 2000s for sure. Yeah. Because yeah. the first one on here is a number one versus a 60. Number one is. Right into it, huh? Yeah. All right. I like it. So basically, though, Junk, we go through these, and they're like, they're already matched up and everything, and we're just going to pick one. Okay. You pick whatever one you think is really like that, and then eventually that they're going to go on. up against. I have so it, many things it, it in my moves head. On. Like a starter jacket. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> walk Oh, yeah. So right here we got the the first one here is a good MySpace page. Oh, yeah. Yo, I made the best <laughs> MySpace pages. Versus dressing like a skater. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, this, here's the biggest poser move of all skater time. Skater culture. Oh, absolutely. People who don't and skate. I, that was me. Yeah. And my original AOL, like, in, uh-huh. uh, instant messenger name was Skater541. Ah. Never skated Never a day skated. in my life. Nope. And it was like S-K-A-Y-T-E-R. Yes. Oh, man. So dressing like a skater did make you cool, but what, uh, oh, we're having a good MySpace page. I feel like those were two different times. They were two different times, but think about it. If you were what a made kid, you cooler, though? If you were in elementary school when you had MySpace. Yeah. Do you think that would have made you like having a cooler page be cooler? I or, like mean, middle I think school? Probably like dressing like a skater. I, made you yeah, I agree. I, I'm thinking the Janko jeans. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm going to pick that anyway. Lines. But like, but that's my a big MySpace upset. pages were the shit. They had like yeah. songs and like things <laughs> yeah. coming down. They told and... you had a code back then. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I still miss MySpace to oh, this day. The still platform. the best one. Best social still. platform. But Absolutely. yeah, that was a. That was an upset. That was a 16 beating a one. No Dressed shit. Like a skater. All right. No, I listen. It's true. It was true. Airwalks. What were the other shoes? Etnies, soaps. Et- remember soaps? Soaps and etnies. <laughs> I remember soaps? I don't remember. Soaps, soaps had a, a grinding plate in the middle, <laughs> so you could run and grind like you were skating shit. Oh so my in God. Uh, gym class, it was oh, yeah. absolutely rampant. I remember I, I remember. I said- Middle I, school gym class. I remember John Zappi had a pair, and I made him give me them so I could- I said, take your fucking shoes off and let me borrow them for gym. <laughs> 
And he's like, well, I'm like, I want to use your soaps for gym so I can grind on the bench. <laughs> yeah, everyone gym. used to do that. Yeah. yeah. They grind on the I bench. I remember the, the sneakers room. that had like wheels in them. Wheelies. Yeah. yeah. Those are probably on here too. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't be surprised though if soaps made a comeback because they were all hard. the '90s shit comes back. Now, Jankos are hard back, dude. That's people crazy. are fucking hard for Jankos. Remember, I bought one pair. Oh, you could afford. They were like a hundred. Even back in the day, yeah. they were like ninety bucks, a hundred bucks for a pair. One pair. Yeah, me too. And I didn't. They weren't like crazy big either. They were like moderate. Yeah, they were. Yeah. I saw the zip off ones in play the other oh, day. Shit. Oh shit! The UFOs. Remember the, the UFOs? Oh my no! She's talking about the zip offs that turned to shorts. Yes. Oh my yes. My dad. God. My dad, big time for them. And some of those actually turned into backpacks too. No, that's crazy. What? Yeah. Remember the UFOs though? Yeah. You the could turn the UFO the into a backpack. Oh, you could yeah. turn UFOs into a backpack. Maybe that's what I'm. That's part about. of so, that's part of skater culture. Yeah, skater too. Yeah, culture. Yeah, there yeah. you go, man. All right. So um, now we hacky got hacky sacks too. Yeah. Yes. I used to fucking hate going to fallback practice because all they fucking did was hacky sack. Yeah, I'm like, no, I'm not playing hacky sack again. <laughs> Let's write a song. Um, all right, now we got the eight versus the nine. We got coming back to school with McDonald's. Oh, shit. That's a flex. First versus being fast. Oh, also. Oh. See, I didn't, I didn't know much about being fast, but I remember there's a couple times in my life where I felt fast <laughs> and I thought that shit was sick. Yeah. Like, I remember I bought a new pair of shoes. I ran down my street. I'm like, holy shit. Flying. Like, I never ran so fast. Remember that one time I did it to you guys gave me the nuts with a fucking football? <laughs> I was like, yo, I found a new way to run faster. <laughs> I fucking booked it and Dom whipped the football right by fucking nuts. Oh, I remember when I ran fast away from Dom, too, when he tried to pour gasoline on me oh, and set me on fire. Yeah, happy football season. Yeah. Listen, mm -hmm. that's right. Everything goes as planned. No gasoline will be poured on Ariel. Yes. Um, because it just be winning, and that's I will not be a drunken hilarious. maniac. hilarious. And I don't act like that anymore. I, I would not do that anymore. Yeah, but, but what we got here, coming back to school, McDonald's was a big flex. Yeah. Being fast. Fast was a flex too. Yeah, I was never fast. I wasn't but fast. I understand the fast moments. Me like too. Said. Like, yeah, like, I had a couple. I had one in kindergarten. I beat the fastest kid in school. <laughs> probably and, felt huge. Yeah, I don't know how. Yeah. I just did. And that was like one time. And um, yeah, I think it was just that one time. Yeah. <laughs> Joan, have you ever been fast? No, I was never fast. <laughs> but I think I'm going to have to go with the McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like probably too because you came back to school McDonald's. But this is the problem. Me, if I'm going out of school, I'm not coming back. Yeah. <laughs> I never went back. Doctor's appointment, home all day. But I remember being the kid that had that, McDonald's. No, no, no. Oh, that, that watched the kid envious. come in. Oh, yes. With the McDonald's. Very envious. Very envious. Very yeah. envious. Yes. Very yeah. Envious. So for that, I'll go, I'll, I'll go yeah. with McDonald's because I know the feeling. Of wanting it. Like, yes. I wouldn't come in with the McDonald's. I would just cut, go eat it, and then come back. But you had to elementary <laughs> school elementary style. Kids would be, some, pe kids, some kids would go to the doctor and actually come back That's to yeah. school. That's, That's what I'm saying. I'm thinking that era. I'm, I'm fucking staying home yeah. all day. I'm not coming back to school. <laughs> yeah, there I was a point. Back. There was a point in fucking kindergarten where I just pissed my pants every day so I could go home. And then they caught on to that after a week. And then they're like, your mom's just going to bring you clothes. Bring you clothes. Like, Fuck. Yep. You don't want to work? Shut your pants. You ever see that guy on the... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just shut your pants. Man. Sh yeah, yeah, just shut, shut your pants. pants. Hey, mm. boss, I shit my shit pants. the airplane. What are they going to do? Yeah. Go home and enjoy your day. Shit your pants. But, uh, all right, so yeah, McDonald's moves on. Uh, now we got the five versus 12. We got having a cool phone versus being able to touch the net. Having uh, a cool phone. Probably having a cool what phone. made you cooler? Probably having a cool a phone. I mean, touching the net was cool, but I never... I mean, that was... The net was easy. It was the rim I couldn't touch. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah. The net. No. I had a sidekick. I thought I was the coolest. Yeah, yeah. you know what? I'm <laughs> okay, so I never really had the cool phone either. I didn't I have a I phone until envious. Yeah, I didn't have a phone. Cool phones. The chirp, the fucking. Oh, oh everybody yeah, had the, the next tell. The next tells. I didn't yeah. have that shit. I didn't have I anything. Afford that you know shit. what I didn't like about the next tell? That people would beep beep and just start talking, mm -hmm. and like other people were always around. And I'd be scared if I had that phone. <laughs> Someone would be blowing up my spot. Like, Shorty chirp back. Yeah, so probably having a cool phone, for sure. Now Louis we Vuitton got belt. Where I'm keeping all the heat before strapped. Before the first thing is having a new game system or having a cast. New games. System. New game system. Yeah, having a cast sucked, but like everybody, yeah, everybody signed, signed it. it. I mean, you got yeah. the sympathy from everybody. The only cool part about it, but yeah, yeah, dude, getting a new system, being the one again. Yeah, being the one that got the never, system. Never the one that had it. The <laughs> cool I got, system. I but. got. I remember I got Sega. I got Nintendo for my cousins because they got other shit. So I had. Yep. I had like an old beat up Nintendo for me alone. But I got Sega in like third grade or something like that, and I was like, well, Sega's still the best. system. Well, goddamn. 
Like I still remember. I still never forget like the video of that. My aunt like, is this like on those systems where they're coming out at you? Like <laughs> about Sega. Real innovative yeah, stuff. Yeah, back yeah, then. yeah. Uh, what is your favorite console of all, all time? time? Yeah, all time favorite console. Then we'll get back. But just curious. Probably the sixty four. Yeah. Probably the sixty four. Air. At mine's the Sega Genesis. Sega. I love Sega, but I. So many times on the 64 with No Mercy. Oh, I know. Oh, Revenge. No Mercy was just funny. GoldenEye, Perfect Dark. Like I didn't the know multiplayer games I was from multiplayer. Guy. The multiplayer 64 games were some of the best times I've ever yeah, had. Yeah, you're right. Life. Pitch, uh, was it Pitch Dark? Perfect Dark. Perfect Dark. Pitch, Meat Perfect Lo- Meatball dark. used to come to my house just to play watch. Perfect Dark. It's to watch. Yeah. He'd be like, he didn't want to play. He's like, can I just watch you play Perfect Dark? I'm like, Sure. I like to watch people play video yeah. games. Really? Yes. It's the most boring I thing of all like time it. to me. Like Meepo would watch. come over just to watch. So weird. He knew we were going to play Perfect Dark, and he'd come over just to watch. So weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, I guess I have any gaming system would move on. Yep. All right, now we got three versus the 14. We got being the class clown slash hanging at the mall. Hmm. Mm. Probably the class clown. Yeah, yeah I think I agree with that. I feel like class everybody class. chill at the mall yeah. regardless. Everybody was yeah. there. Like every style that didn't person make you cool chilled. Yeah. Because you hug out the mall. No. Yeah. yeah, like everyone hug out there. Yeah, so yeah, being the class clown, that's an easy oh, one. Oh, yeah. So we got. You would know. Yeah. Going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Going, so we got going to an R rated movie versus having gum. Hold on. Just, you know what's bad when you have like multiple class clowns in a class? It can yeah. really just distru- disrupt a complete <laughs> that poor teacher. fucking yeah. class. There was for Ms. a whole. Uh, Miss Smith could, I'm period. sure she probably considered retirement in our class. <laughs> that was bad. I'm sure she considered retirement. Yeah. She things was like going this, through it at that point in time, too. This is too. why I only taught for two years, because <laughs> yeah. things like this. See, I wasn't a bad kid naturally, but if I was around the right you people. Were, yeah, if you put him in a class with me, oh, old yeah. man, Brack. Brad. Brad. All of us all were in one class one together. Class. Can you imagine that? Not <laughs> Can you imagine good. that poor teacher? I mean, it must Not have good. been a fun class. It was, and there was other assholes in that class, too. Oh, yeah, too. Spoonie. Yeah, there's like, just a lot of fucking Curtis, jerks. Alan Herbert. Alan Herbert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Curtis. A lot of pricks. Yeah. A lot of pricks. <laughs> a lot of pricks. A lot of jerks in that class. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that lady was a bitch to begin so be, with. Imagine being a bitch on top of. So like, yeah, you really gave us Pushing incentive. our buttons. Imagine a teacher pushing all of our buttons. Remember we made the substitute cry? Yeah. And walk out? She walked out after a day. She's like, I can't do this. Oh, we've made teachers cry. she fucking stunk. She didn't put no fucking deodorant on. So we were like making shit. fun of how much she smelled <laughs> right to her face. Chant, and you smell like shit. You smell like shit. <laughs> oh my you God. You smell like shit. <laughs> my high school chemistry teacher, you know how like you have those lab desks in like your science classrooms mm-hmm. in high school? We all ducked down behind the desks. Oh, and rebels. she was like walked in and nobody was there. Oh, and she's like oh, looking rebel. around all confused that we we're just hiding from her. <laughs> we told the teacher her pussy smelled in class. <laughs> <laughs> like that's terrible. Nah, was, yeah, and that was high school. Middle school was even worse. Yeah, I was bad at middle school. Four too. and five, not four. Was it not four and five? No. Avenel Middle was like a jail. Yeah, it's like you went to jail every what was day. The name Avenel Middle. Avenel, Avenel, Avenel Middle School. Avenel, yeah, no. yeah, Avenel Middle, dude. Yeah, that was jail. That was jail. It was like going to jail every day. Well, now all of our Sayreville, there's like metal detectors to get in all the mm. schools. People got fucking stabbed in our school. Oh yeah. That was nuts. Before it was cool to get stabbed in yeah, school. Before it was like a thing. Yeah. You guys nuts. almost got stabbed by a Domino's that's delivery right. driver. You're right. You were there for that. <laughs> I'll never... F- that's why I'm very careful now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really fuck with people on the road, man. You don't know what anybody has in their car. Nope. And we saw it firsthand from a nope. Domino's delivery driver, yeah. bro. Yeah, he definitely defended A sword! Himself. A fucking sword! That thing was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. We gotta, all right, we got to get through it. R-rated movie or having gum? What's cooler? What made you cooler? Um, R-rated movie or having gum? Having like, gum. It, it's funny. When I think about middle school, there was always those people that had like their, their own little shop set up that they yeah. sold stuff yeah. for like a dollar. Yep. And they'd have the binaca spray. Mm-hmm. They would have your gum. <laughs> they had all that Good shit. Good hustle going. I'm going yep. with the gum. Yeah. Yeah. I, know, I was always not having I was always, let me get a piece. Those yeah. were like the original entrepreneurs yeah. man, back then. <laughs> all right. So then we got- my computer's dying. Oh. Oh, now we no. got just being rich or having cool shoes. It's the mm. cool shoes. I don't know shit about uh, being ask rich. Ask Gary. She knows a lot about being yeah, rich. Yeah, I don't know shit about <laughs> being rich. So I'll say the cool shoes. When you got a new pair of shoes and they're fire, not only did you feel great about yourself, 
I'm sure that's people notice. That's really them. hard. Yeah. yeah. Cuz well, like I mean, the rich kid is usually like the cool yeah. kid. Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't really but chill the cool with the kids rich have kid. cool that's, shoes yeah. too. Yeah, but I didn't fucking chill with like the rich kid. Yeah, yeah I think I'll go with the shoes. Yeah, yeah I'm going with the shoes. It's more American. It's more American. <laughs> More blue. More <laughs> blue collar. All right, now we got the final for the first round. Having a pool slash drinking. Uh, drinking is always cool. Yeah. They should have put smoking I mean, cigarettes on here because that's though, real cool. Like, having a pool was pretty cool. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Drinking, everybody does, and people do it to try to be cool. Yeah. I think that's what it is. <sighs> like, if you were the one with the pool, everyone would go to your house oh, yeah. and chill. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. You were desirable in the summertime yeah, for very sure. Desirable, yeah. You were a desirable friend in the summertime <laughs> for sure. Uh, all right, so now we're moving on. We got dressing like a skater versus coming back to school at McDonald's. Go with dressing as a skater. Yeah, it was a vibe. It was. It was a whole it fucking was. vibe, yeah, yeah. and it's coming back. Yeah, a little bit. So, and then we also got ha- all right, having the cool phone versus having the new game system. Cool phone cool. versus game system. It's probably the cool phone. Cool phone versus game. Are we go- talking like elementary school? Yeah, matter. we're no, spanning, really we're spanning we're just, all life here. It's more impactful. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I th- maybe probably the, the game, game system. system. Because you would bring more people together. Yeah, yeah. everybody would come one and like, hang out with you because yeah. you had the game like the system. Pool. Yeah, it is like the pool. It's the indoor pool. Oh, it's the pool. It was the pool. <laughs> all right, we'll go with the gaming system. So we got being a class clown slash having gum versus having gum. Class I think clown. it's a class clown. Yeah, yeah. I'm going with class clown. Yeah, because yeah. a class clown was always someone that made you feel good. Oh too. yeah, because I always got a kick ass. Someone was like, class was always entertaining. If that someone way. was a bigger yeah, yeah. asshole than I was, I gave him much more. I, I gave appreciate him. it. Yeah, I always yeah. There's because this class where I was, I would be just I'd just be chilling and bother <laughs> nobody. I didn't give every teacher a hard time. Yeah, like Sweet Tech, I never gave him a hard time. No, nah. except with the Myers mask. Well. I put it on. The Myers. And oh, yeah. he, he was not having it. Like, it was he the just, only time he was the pissed The only at us. time he wasn't having Like, he just looked at me, like, completely, like, disappointed. He just <laughs> shook his head. And I was like, and I just took it off. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, a, like a dog when you know yeah, they fucked like, up. Fuck, yeah. I'm sorry. I went too far. Yeah. yeah fuck. Yeah, Mark was just sitting in the back of class. What a Mark Myers, Myers mask. Mask. <laughs> While everyone was reading. Yeah. And they had their heads down. <laughs> No, but if I, like, I did picked that. my head up and saw that as a teacher, I think I would have died. He's just like, I did that in Mr. Lucent's class for, like, an hour before he noticed it. <laughs> um, in high school, I had a kid. It must have been a substitute teacher. It was wintertime. He zipped his, like, whole head up in his thing. <laughs> Lit a bowl. Good like, man. Like, in his winter coat, and the smoke started pouring Good out his sleeve. Good man. Uh-huh. Like, what is wrong with Good you? Respect. Yeah, the substitute teacher was like, get the fuck out. But Smart. I respect that. Wait, I respect fucking that wait. fucking effort. Yeah. <laughs> the ball's an effort. Respect the legend. So, okay, so we got class clown. All right. Um, Now we got having cool shoes versus having the pool. Cool <sighs> shoes. I think it's the pool. Cool. It's the pool. I don't know. I might go shoes. Yeah? I'm going pool. I don't think I'm going pool. Yeah, having three people is a lot easier because yeah. we would debate that for like an We've hour. all been on like the same page so far. Yeah, <laughs> that was the only one. Yeah, so now we got dressing like a skater versus having the new game system. Dressing Ooh. like a skater. Yeah, I think so. I think that's easier right. actually. And that's moving on to the final. Cool. So now we got being the class clown versus having a pool. Class. Clown. I think class it's the clown. Class clown. Class clown. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now. Things that made you cool as a kid. This is it. Oh, shit. Either dressing like a skater or being the class clown. Oftentimes, I will say, the class clown is is a skater. It is. Or dressed like a skater, rather. It is true for one way and not always the other way. Correct. I think class clown. Yeah, I think so, too. Although dressing like a skater, because you could dress like a skater and be a loser, and be a loser, be a fuck. I do know a lot of fucking pussies in billabong attire. But usually <laughs> it's very true. Yeah, facts. But usually everyone likes the class clown. Yes. Yeah. Yes, usually the class clown is universally loved by everybody except the teacher. He will be playing except video games with you. He'll be at your pool. Yes, yeah, so he'll be, at he'll your be pool. entertaining you His doing class. <laughs> class clown it is the winner. <laughs> so yeah, that's a tournament junk. That was that's, fun, yeah. right? 
That was fun. That was good. So I think that's going to take us to break, yeah, which definitely. is good. No Joey Blue so. reviews this that's week, okay. but it's okay. We'll give him a pass. Wah, He's a busy a guy. He'll be back next week. Guaranteed. He gets a pass. Uh, but we do have a segment. It is trailer trash. Oh, okay. And um, I told you, Mark. What? You're going to like it. I still have no excited, idea what you're talking about. And this about. one is a surprise. Ooh. So oh. it comes from our horror friend, Eli Roth. Mm-hmm. Can you guess what it is? I think I can. Finally. I think I can. Actually. It's happening. I think I can, actually. Tell me what I saw a picture the other day, and I'm like, <laughs> I think that that's going to be a real I think that's a real thing. I think we're going to finally get Thanksgiving. 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 Yes. We're finally getting Eli Roth slasher. Nice. It's a teaser trailer. Nice. Came out today. I didn't see the trailer. Very, very exciting. So cool. if you don't know what Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. is, white meat, dark meat, is <laughs> all a will be fake carved. All trailer will be carved. that came out <laughs> during, during um, I want to say Planet Terror. Or yeah, it was the Grindhouse films. The Grindhouse was Rodriguez. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, Rod- Robert it was Rodriguez. Either, I think it was Planet Terror. Okay. Specifically. Yeah, it was him and Quint- uh, Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, when they did the Grindhouse movies, like the one with the fucking Kirk Douglas and the race, mm-hmm. or Kurt Russell and the rate, like the racing and shit, the street racing, and then the Planet Terror one with like the zombies on yeah. shit. It was like a commercial, it was like a trailer for a fucking slasher movie about Thanksgiving and it was like dark as fuck but it wasn't a real movie. It was you just know? a fake trailer. It was a fake trailer. Movie. Oh, and they turned it into a real and movie. And he's finally turned yeah, it into a real movie. But this came out, I a mean... A long time coming. How many years ago was... Early 2000s. Early 2000s, easy. Uh, 16 years to be exact. Yeah. 16 years, man. Yeah, it's crazy. So that's 2000. It's finally coming out. I'm excited, man. So here it is. Nice. The teaser trailer for... Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. All will be carved. (laughs) Thanksgiving is a time for appreciation. It's a time to remember our many blessings, to celebrate with the ones that we love the most, And it's time for all families to be together. No, 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 no! Let's see. Good. I'm having a bad hair. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back for the second That's half right. of the dude cast, and Ariel is having a. She's having a hair day. I'm having, having a, a day. Terrible having, hair day. She's having a rough one. Frizz City. She's like, oh, she's ma- she's making it fucking <laughs> crazy <laughs> by the minute too. She's like, she's going. How does it look now? <laughs> does How does it look? look does it look better? And it's it looking <laughs> nuts. Like it's just getting crazier and crazier, I'm more disheveled and more crazy it. by the second. I don't know what to do. And she's like, yeah, she's like, you ever see like when like those, so she's like, does it look any better? Huh? Am I looking any better? I need huh? a hat. About to do all Wait, I can put my hood up. <laughs> but now she went to the bathroom and it's all good now. Kind no of. No more frizz. Kind of like, lost my shit there. It's crazy. It's going to get, Holy I suppose. crap, yeah. man. That was funny, though. So. <laughs> she's lost. She was looking crazy. Still, just a little bit. So. But it's a... Uh, Fucking football the season, so that means it's once again fucking time. fantasy oh. season. Oh, yeah. And I know everybody's like, no one cares about your fantasy football team. Guess what? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> y'all gonna hear about it anyway. And because people do care, people do their own thing and they only tell them, talk to them. They care. People care. People want to know. I'm telling you. So we have our team. And once again. Team Warrack. I'm back again, Team Warrack. Team Warrack. <laughs> I, got, I got the blessing. Shout out to the Warrack boys. I got the blessing. Still alive, by, by the, the way. way. I got the blessing from Billy when I was like, you know my fantasy football team's Warrack. He's like, good shit, brother. <laughs> I still talk to Billy. Yeah, that's your boy. That's my guy. That's great. But um, no, the blessing, I got the blessing. I got blessed in. Warrack is my, it was my team name last year. It's my team name this year. I'm running it back. So who you got? Who you got? Do you um, want to go by round? Do you want to just go by position? What are you feeling? Uh, well, for put it this way, I liked my team 
What pick did you have? I had the fifth pick. All right. Twelve. And I hate when people are like, oh, I have a, a ten man draft or a team draft or like an eight. Why even play? It's oh the God! Easy, Every so team's easy. gonna be a superstar yeah. team. It's not like fun. when I was in Russo's team, like that was like nine teams. Do you know? How I've dominated that league. It wasn't even fun. Yeah, I lost once. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, how I many teams do we have? We have twelve. We have a regular twelve man league, which man, is normal. And we're on what year? This is like, dude. I'll go to the. I'll go to the thing, and it will tell me. Um, we get and we've done a couple years outside of ESPN on ESPN twelve years, and we've done what probably another two, two or on three Yahoo. on Yahoo. Hey man, yeah. Yahoo Fantasy. Yes, so probably Jeez. fifteen total. You know, Brack is getting a title belt this year, made wonderful. So it's when I went to get my car, so I don't. Oh yes, we've been gone a little while. No one knows I almost died. No, that's right. What I, I don't even know you almost <laughs> died. <laughs> so what? when I went. So, like, two Fridays ago, I was driving to work, and it was, like, pouring rain, and my windshield wipers just stopped oh. working on the turnpike at, like, 7 o'clock in the morning, doing 80 miles an hour in the pouring rain. Oh, no great. Bueno. My windshield wipers just stopped working. That's crazy. Think about that for a second. I didn't stop or pull over. I drove the rest of I the know, way to th- work. I know exactly what day you're talking about, too. And, it's and nuts, they're like, ma- imagine being in a there. monsoon, downpour rain, your windshield wipers just stop working. Did you working. do it Ace Ventura style? With the yes. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> and I was getting panic. soaked and pissed off and terrified. <laughs> but the thing was, I get off, so I'm cheap fuck, and I don't want to pay five fucking dollars on the toll to work every day. Oh, brutal. So I pay a dollar eighty going to work. Because I get off at 13, <laughs> and I hop on Route 1, and I take 1 the rest of the way there. Okay. I bypass all the bullshit lights in Elizabeth. They get right by the airport. I'm Elizabeth. moving. I'm usually hustling. So I, get, I was right by the exit. I'm like, I'll get off the exit. Boom. I tell the fucking tell lady, yeah, my windshield wipers are fucked. So I got out. So I, I wipe them once before I hit the road again <laughs> and clear them off while I was paying my toll. And I just went. And, like, you know how, like, when it's really pouring, you, like, need the wipers? It was like that. <laughs> so, like, within three seconds, my shit was completely fucking covered again. And I'm, like, merging lanes with other cars doing, like, 60. And I'm, my like... My windshield wipers broke before. Bro, it was crazy. So, I got to work. I'm, like, this is fucking crazy. Come to find out I have a recall on it. Mm. Oh, of course. And I'm, like, oh, nice. And I get it done for free to get fixed, though. This, Man, fuck this is the funniest part. This is a big shout-out right here to Lucas Chevrolet. They sponsor the studio in there, so it makes only sense anyway. Respect. It pays to drop a name sometimes. <laughs> I'm not usually that guy... But I call the fucking place up and I'm like, yeah, uh, I got to get the recall looked at for the windshield wipers. Like they gave out on me this morning in the monsoon. And she's oh like, oh my God, God, that's crazy. I'm like, yeah, it was nuts. But um, she goes, well, I can get you in like, this is Friday, mind you, like Monday morning, probably no problem. She's like, as long as we got the part. I'm like, well, the thing is, I was actually going to call George before I called you just to see if. He'd be able to get me in. George owns the dealership. Yeah. So she goes, hold on one second. She goes away and she comes back. She goes, could you be here at two o'clock? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, sure. Yes. So like it pays sometimes to drop it. And then that time I saw Brack and I haven't talked to Brack in a while. So I hung yeah. out with Brack for like an hour and his office mm. hanging out just bullshit. And Brack's the man. Which is when I didn't know. I had no idea his daughter's birthday party was happening. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I sent you an invite. I'm like, well, you didn't send it to the right address. Oh, he probably sent it uh, to the old yeah, address. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I never got shit. I didn't even know. I'm like, oops, my bad. But then we're bullshitting, and he tells me I'm getting a title made for the for the fuck fantasy hype. year. And he's getting one point six on me too. Stop. Yeah, it. it's hilarious. Oh my god. So the winner's gonna get a belt this year <laughs> after 15 years. You're getting money and a belt. That's oh man, oh, we're getting the money too. Yeah, the money winner, too. All right, all right. I money thought the money was belt. going to the belt. All right, no. cool. But we are, um, yeah. So it's been a long time coming in this league. And I won. I didn't win it, but I went to the finals two years ago against Kaplan. Mm-hmm. Remember that? But that's the farthest I've gone. I've never won this league. I have one championship In under my belt. Fifteen years, brother. I've never won the league. One. I've gotten to the championship three times, and I've not won once. So, are you one of the guys that you get to the championship and someone says, "Hey, want to split the pot?" Do Kaplan, you do it? Hundred percent. Well, no, it? we didn't do it, but it would Kaplan one hundred percent offered. And you said no. I said no. No. I said I. Want and you say money. no every time. Yeah, I want the fucking money. Yeah. Because also, if I don't win. I'm still getting like a two hundred dollars so, just for being in the game. Yeah, so I'm I, still I, making out with more money than I put in. I think it absolutely so, depends on the size of your league too, right? Yeah, because like our league is sizable it's not enough. enough. It's not, but I'd rather win close to a thousand than four hundred, fifty, five hundred. What's it something like that, right? Four hundred. If you split, yeah, yeah. 
I'd rather win closer to a thousand. Yeah, and I'm still getting two hundred and fifty just right. just for playing this game. If I win or lose, so what are you talking? Another couple hundred bucks, really? Yes, to split. Yeah, and like what's the point? Who wins? I agree. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah, if the fucking you win, you win. Yeah, you gotta go I'm balls in, man. Yeah, and I'm winning the most money I possibly Let's go. can. Exactly. But no, I and I usually have a different strategy. I I like going wide receiver heavy, but I have the last two years I I went running back heavy. Yep. And it, it last year kind of fucked me, but I had the fifth overall pick, mm-hmm. like I said, in this twelve man league, and I ended up with Cooper Cup, and boy do I regret that <laughs> already, because <laughs> he's not playing week one, and he might not play for a while. Oh, and that he's fucking so sucks. Unreli- he's like McCaffrey, bro. But, but this is the thing: when he's healthy, the numbers were un. Like, like I say, he's like McCaffrey. Same Who guy. I almost thought was going to fall to me at five, which I would have taken. Oh, absolutely. A hundred yeah. out of a hundred times. Again, as long as he's healthy, he's going to have a monster. Yeah, player. always. Monster. So I went Cooper Cup, who's officially on the bench already. And yep. then on the way back around, I got Josh Jacobs. Good running back. Yeah, sorry. I love Jacobs. This man. is what my running backs are my strength. I have yep. Josh Jacobs. I have Aaron Jones. And then on my other receivers, I have Brandon Cooks. And Gabe Davis starting. Okay. But now I'm going to have to start also Alan Lazard, who was a late late pick. But I'm going to have to start him because Cup's out. Well, you can't really hate the Lazard thing. And no. I'm not going to be a homer just to be a homer. But, yeah. I mean, listen, Aaron Rodgers is going to spread the ball around. It's, he's going mean, to be Aaron, comfortable. Listen, Wilson's going to get a lot. But yeah. Lazard's going to be the number two guy that's getting the ball. Yeah. So I think so. You know, I think it's a good, you know. Right. You'll be all right. With I don't want to have to start him, but I, I'm not mad at it. But for week one, at least, yeah, see how it goes. And then I got Mark Andrews as my tight end, who always puts up numbers. He's consistently a top five, top yeah. three tight end. He's another one with health issues, though, too, right? Yeah, he yeah hurt a lot. but like not for long stretches. Uh-huh. It's like a game or so. I here. had him for a year, and I, didn't, I regretted the pick. I took him high. Yeah, but then I remember there was a couple games that year where he put up 30 for yeah. you. Yeah, that's true. So he, he did win one or two for me. And then my flex, I got Miles Sanders, who's going to be the starting back there. Love Miles Sanders, man. So, yep. And then I got the Cowboys D and McPearson, the fucking Bengals kicker. So it's whatever. And then my bench was Lazard. Yep. And I got Dalton Schultz, Quinn, Quinn, uh, Quentin Johnson, who's a rookie in the, the Chargers. You know, I took a chance on a couple of rookies just because mm-hmm. if they pan out, great. Uh, Gus Edwards, Jared Goff, the most underrated man in football, is my backup quarterback. Tajay Spears, the running back in Tennessee, the backup now to Derrick Henry, who's probably going to see some time because he's fast as fuck and little. Yeah. Change of pace. And then over-reliable Marvin Jones Jr. because he'll consistently put up 10 How plus. old is he? I feel like he's been in the league for a million years. years, I think. <laughs> I think he's been in the league that long. He's old. Yeah. But he always puts up numbers. I know. He gets touchdowns, man. He's an, old, he's an OG. So that's my team. Oh, yeah. And I told you, Dak's my starting quarterback. Dak's your quarterback. All right. So how are you feeling, man, overall? I don't hate it. Yeah. If Dak is healthy and performs, he'll put up numbers. I got good running backs. The, the receivers are where I'm like, uh, mm-hmm. I need to maybe make a move. Yeah. Especially with Cup out. I'll tell you, so I, I might be able to help you there, brother. Uh, that's possible. It's, it's very possible. Okay. I have a surplus of wide receivers. I do. Well, I don't have those as surplus of running backs. Okay. And that was my weak spot this year. Um, I did. Did you end up taking? You said you took Chase when you thought you were taking Jefferson, right? What's that? You took Chase when you thought you were taking Jefferson, right? Uh, but I don't. Sort I, of I wouldn't be mad so, at that. Anyway. Yeah, for my number one pick, I kind of I was high. I was very high for <laughs> it. I was there. It was yeah. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't an Eddie before. Lacy number one overall high done, pick. I, I did that. I was um, high. I picked Eddie Lacy. This I one no really idea it was my pick. It, you know, it's still a good pick. I, I take Jamar Chase, but I had Justin Jefferson in my mind, mm-hmm. uh, who I who I wanted mm-hmm. to take, and then someone took Jefferson. Yep. Didn't realize he took Jefferson <laughs> number one. I had number two, and I saw. I guess Jay. Yeah, I'm like, boom. Oh. Okay, perfect. I got. Yeah. Him. I'm looking. I'm like, Chase took Chase. <laughs> How the hell that happened? And uh, but I'm not mad. Like, nah. like when I, when I told you, you're like, I oh, you shouldn't be mad. And I'm yeah. not. I'm not. I'd, I'd be happy with that pick. So all day. Chase. I mean, then. Listen, my quarterback, I took high. I didn't take him number two, yeah. but I took Mahomes high. It was strategic play, yeah, man. Someone's going to take him. Yeah. I might as well have the best quarterback. If I could take him, I'm going to yeah. have the best quarterback. He's so. going to put up 40 or 50 a week. Yeah, probably. he's going to win games for yeah. me, man. There's no doubt. So even though I don't love my running back scenario, mm. having the best quarterback in the game definitely makes up for yeah. it in some areas, you know? Um, so I have him. Here's my starting running backs right now. Mm-hmm. I have Brees Hall, who is going to share... <laughs> Yeah, a lot of the load with Dalvin for, Cook, especially especially in the beginning. The year. Right, he's coming off that injury. We'll see, uh, but he might surprise you. He might get you a touchdown, something like that. So 
you know, I, I, I feel okay about Hall. I don't feel great. Mm. And then I have um, uh, Antonio Gibson from the Commanders. Another guy who's going to get touches, but how many? Because there's fucking eight guys. It's that a run shared the workload, there. right? So, um, I mean, he's projected to get over eleven I saw points that, this but week, I'm like, though. I don't know where how? they how? got. Well, the Robinsons running the rock. That other kids yeah. running the rock. They got all these dudes running the rock. So, and I, Sam House supposed to be God apparently. So oh, he's probably yeah. going to throw it all over the field. Oh, right? Yeah, yeah. Greatest show on turf part two. We'll yeah, see. That's going to be a joke. So, you know, I don't love that situation, but I'll, I'll share who I have on my bench and it might make a little more sense um, in a moment. But and my receivers, like I said, I have Chase, mm-hmm. um, Olave from the Dude, that's uh, solid Saints. Right there. That's solid. He's going to have a great two. connection with Carr. Dude, that's solid. And I have uh, Chris Godwin as a, yeah. as my third. He's, which, an o- he's an OG. You know, he'll still put our points. Man. Yeah. I still feel good about him there. And then my tight end, I got Waller. Yeah. Who I think is going to have a monster year. I think Daniel Jones is going to be absolutely obsessed yeah. with throwing him the football. Probably. And then we have Evan Ingram in my flex. Uh, another guy, big year with yeah. Jacksonville last year. You went two tight end flex. Yeah. I've done that in the past. Yeah. It's it's worked out. Dude, listen, Ingram's going to get a lot of touches, man. Him I and Lawrence that, developed something good last year. I did that once with uh, Martellus Bennett. Okay. And uh, Bennett, old reliable man. Classic. And fucking, mm. I think Antonio Gates at one point in time mm-hmm. ran the two of them well, Gates concurrently. Great, man, oh my god! So then I have the Packers D, whatever, mm-hmm. and Jason Myers as my kicker. So then on the bench, on the bench I I took later, took a chance. He's only suspended three games, Alvin Kamara, man. Oh yeah. Only I thought about games. it. I thought about it. And he was there in the later rounds, man. Yeah, he was there late. I thought about it. You took him right before I thought. I was like, I, th- I might do it. If no one takes him around this time, I'm going to take him. Right. Somebody took him. So, so yeah, and right there I thought it was a really good spot. So I ride with Hall and Gibson. And then, you know, maybe Kamara becomes a flex guy. Maybe he comes in my number two yeah. you know, or one running back role. I mean, we'll see, but I like it. I have uh, Darnell Mooney as a spare receiver out there, mm-hmm. whatever. Um, here's one that I kind of like that has a lot of upside, but again, injuries, injuries, injuries. And he's on a new team, um, DJ Shark oh, uh, yeah. Jr. Yeah. You know, I, he sometimes, stretches the field. Yeah. You know, you don't know. And I have Daniel Jones as my backup quarterback because, you know what? Yeah. Someone would probably take him as their starter. Yeah. Why not have him on my bench? Um, under Mahomes as an insurance policy. That's why I policy. took Goff, just because he always puts up. Goff is consistently putting up numbers, and no one gives a fuck ever. So if I need someone to start a game where I know I'm going to get at least a couple touchdowns and some yards, yep. I'm, Goff is the most underrated fucking quarterback in football, I think, honestly. Fair enough. You know, That's I my bold take. I, I really can't hate that. And then uh, I have Hunter Renfro as a mm-hmm. backup who... Was surprising a couple of years ago. Then last yeah, year didn't have the I same had him type on my of team year. Last year sucked. Yeah, I picked him up late the year before that, and it helped me out big time. And then I uh, Kareem Hunt, who I just you know, let me pick him up, see if he joins a team, yeah, maybe. you know, a team with an injury like the Colts, and maybe he comes in. And he's that number one running back for a few weeks. Yeah, I don't know. But That's the thing with the Colts too, man. Like I love Anthony Richardson as a quarterback. I really do. I don't know if he's going to succeed there. They're putting him in too early. He yeah, needs, he needs I know. work. I know, and that might fuck him up. Like, I'd love to see him rise to the occasion and play well, but I don't know. It's going to be tough. And my last guy got a Chubba Hubbard from uh, okay. Carolina, who's, you know, that backup guy. Yeah. He gets touches like I said, I, every I, year. Miles Sanders, I picked him up just because he's – but he's going to be the one there for, I yeah. think. Frank Wright might do something down there with that team a little bit. It's all dependent on the quarterback. True. So it really is all with those teams. Yeah, I think Wright's I a good think coach. The NFC South is very interesting division. They're not going to be very good. But I think there's going to be surprising teams that division. Like, I really think Atlanta's going to be better than people think. It's possible. I mean, if listen, Desmond Ritter is decent, yeah. they have, they're going to have a star running back in Robinson. Yep. Dijon Robinson is going to be the real deal. Drake, Drake London's a lot better than I thought he was. Yeah, their head coach is good. And too. I like Art Smith. Yeah. And that's another reason why I, it's, my, it's a bull pick out of me. I like that. It's my bull position. My bull prediction is that Falcons win the NFC South. Ooh. Because I don't think, yeah, the Saints got Derek Carr. Dennis Allen is a fucking moron. Sucks of a as a head coach. He's a terrible head coach. Yeah. It doesn't matter how good Derek He's Carr one of those is. Guys, he yeah. sucks. He's a good born coordinator. fucking loser. Yeah. <laughs> so that guy's not going to win the division. You give someone like, like, like I get a team like fucking Atlanta with Arthur Smith, who's a smart fucking offensive genius yeah. and legitimately made that team look decent when they have absolutely nobody Nothing. on it. Now that they have a couple weapons, maybe, you know, it's all dependent on the quarterback Three. again. But I, that's my bold prediction. They win the NFC South. I like it. I can't argue it, man. 
I'm um, sorry. I feel good about my team too. Yeah, I, I do. Like, like I said, holler at me there if might you need be a guy. A, there might be a trade talk that might have to happen. Okay, because those receivers are looking all right. Yeah, yeah. Um, excellent. All right, cool. So moving on, then I did see an article I did want to bring up. Wow. No shocker, but it was uh, came across I think TMZ or some shit. Uh, Ricky Williams was uh, in the news doing a podcast interview or something. Was he talking about his high football league? Um, it, it, is that he, what he's doing? He wants to do a weed football league. Yeah, no, he well, he, Which he would be awesome promoting cannabis as as a um, you know as a uh, for all, medicinal yeah, purposes wants, for pain and yeah, stuff for the players. To, yeah, that, that's a whole new thing. But like, there was like a, he wanted to start a weed league. So what's that mean? Like. Uh, just a, a league where people, like all the players, smoke weed. Like during the game? The, yeah, during the game, on the, on the field. Play hang, play high, <laughs> fucked up. I mean, sure, sign me yeah. up. <laughs> that sounds like a good time to Run me. by weed companies oh, and all this yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Ricky Williams is the man. And he, he, and he's saying, you know, so he references Vicodin and, and you know, all these yeah. other supplements that, or, or medicines that people are using that probably aren't yeah, the he, best. He said yeah. that the doctors walked down the aisle with one f- on the flight home with like one hand has Vicodin, one hand has Ambien. Right. Right, I mean, come on, man. I, you, you, all you have to do is look at like the '80s and '90s with yeah. pro wrestlers and all those guys dropping, man. Yeah. You know, if they and I think there was an interview actually with with Hogan, and it was on Rogan, Hogan on Rogan, Hogan <laughs> on Rogan. and uh, I think Hogan has a weed uh, brand now. Everybody, course, does. everybody, does, everybody's right? got a yeah. weed brand. He now. hooked up with I think Tyson and whatever, and and now he he's doing somebody who's like, yeah, bro, you know, I'll, <laughs> tell, I'll tell you, uh, I'm in the weed business. You know, if we had that back in the day, you yeah. know, it would have been a lot different. You know? Oh, for sure. Um, look at guys like Bam Bam Bigelow and stuff. You know, with those you know, tragic endings, they just yeah. had the, um, you know, be on the, uh, mm. the uh, nah. uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah, Dark Side of the Ring, Dark Side of the Ring, thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Episode on Bam Bam, and then Sturch had their son on Fight yeah. Factory. On the Fight Factory, yep. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen that, go back and look at that one. Uh, but yeah, just terrible stuff. So I think Ricky has a great. Great point. I mean, of yeah. course, we're always pro weed anyway, yeah. but yeah, why not? On a plane instead of Vicodin and Percocets and or Ambien. whatever. Yeah. Ambien, you know, have an indica, take a nap. Yeah. That would be fucking perfect. Uh, somebody else was putting something into motion with the NFL with that too. It wasn't just Ricky, it was like a few players. I think it was like a coalition of players. Because somebody else was involved with that too. But that'd be sick. You should do shit like that, obviously. Everyone should fucking do it. Yeah. What? <laughs> All right, so this week's <laughs> Moment of the week is brought to you by the good people in Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta? Yeah. Atlanta. <laughs> so apparently, I seen this. I was a Delta flight had to return back to base for like a biohazard Ooh, issue. And then comes to find out the biohazard issue was somebody with diarrhea. Cha, cha, cha. Someone had straight and they could <laughs> not control it. That's Imagine. the absolute worst, most embarrassing feeling on the planet. So There's no coming back from that. No, no. I would die. They had to turn an entire flight around because of you. You ever have a stomachache on a yeah. plane? No, it's the worst. The worst. Absolutely terrible. So this person, not only, they said it was all over. Like, what do you mean it was all over? They shit. They ran down the aisle to get to the bathroom. It was just tra- trailing shit through the entire cabin. That's when you know you're done. from some on board posted on social media described flight crew doing oh. their best to mop up the mess <laughs> with paper towels and oh, scented no. disinfectant. Oh, my but the God. But only, the only effect on the plane was that it made it smell like vanilla shit, oh. one passenger said. <laughs> God. That made oh, me think I about- I would have thrown up. Yeah, that oh, was instant. Up. That's why they had to turn around. It was a biohazard. Oh People were going to get God. sick. Another described cabin crew placing an absorbent paper runner <laughs> over the aisle oh, well, that and passengers having to climb over seats to avoid it and they left the plane. When they were leaving the plane, oh they had to fucking go over their seats. Ugh. How bad of a shit was that? How bad what they eat? Is that gas station sushi? Oh my gosh, yeah. Airport like, sushi. Sarah, someone had some sushi before they got on the plane, a couple <laughs> drinks. Oh, like, oh no. Can you imagine uh, being that person though? Like when your stomach hurts that bad and you're like, oh no. Uh, like I'm shitting my pants and I'm ruining this flight and everybody's day. Oh, my oh. mom had a bad time on a plane once. Oh yeah. Dude, do you remember very, when we went, very bad time? Do you remember we went to Chicago? When we went to Chicago, that lady I had a very bad time on the plane. Shark Cago. Yeah, we were on the Chicago. So when we we're going to Chicago, our fucking uh, our seats happened to be like right in the back of the plane, next to the toilet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like right next to the toilet. And the God, yes. And we're flying shit the in. Entire flight. And we're flying in, and this lady's like, she gets up and she goes to the bathroom, and then the, the the flight attendant's like, "Oh no, we're about to get ready to <laughs> land." Like you know, she's like, she's like "Oh no, no." no. She's like, she's, like, she's like, you don't understand. You need to get out of the way. <laughs> and the like, the, the the flight attendant was like, okay. And she like went in. And she was like, what are you supposed 
supposed to tell someone no shit yourself? Yeah. yeah. You can't go in there. So this she goes. So she it. goes in there, and, th- and mind you, this we're getting ready to land. So she's in there taking a shit when we land the plane, like boom, boom. Oh, like, think yeah. about that. You're not just taking a shit, and you, <laughs> like, dude, are you kidding me? Trying to like, hold it. Yeah. Like, uh, or like, fucking, just gets forced out. Probably fly all over the place. But so this lady's in there the entire fucking time. We're landing, and we forget about her, like half an hour plus at this point. Oh my god. So we could forget she's even in there. We land, we're getting ready to get off the plane, off the door swings open, and it might have been one of the worst smells I've ever smelled in my entire life. And Brad, like, we're sitting Don't right by, it so Brad, Brad's like this, <laughs> he's making a face, he's like, <laughs> and he's like trying to hide, and I'm like, no way, once it hit me, I was like, oh my god, and like, there's no way that lady's not embarrassed, because she's stuck back there with us, because everybody's standing up, oh, to yeah. fucking, yeah, oh. I never heard a girl blow ass before, this lady blew more than ass. <laughs> oh. Poor guts out. <laughs> Fucking body apart. Yeah, and it smelled like death. Set your body on place. It was like a crept. Like, you ever seen, like, the fucking, like, uh, like those old cartoons where they bake the, <laughs> where the, the cake like, and the fucking. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Smell and, like, can't even grab my nose, like, fucking come over here. It was awful. Ugh. But I could. Ew. that Now, so that was contained, right? Imagine being on this flight. No. And it's just all over the plane. It's all over the place. Straight everywhere. That poor person. Yeah. That poor person. That poor that poor flight. Those poor people. Yeah. That's awful. Poor woman. Poor slut. That poor that. woman. That poor slut. <laughs> Eight X lax when she got on the fucking plane, apparently. She makes chocolate and soda. Oh the natural X lax. Oh. But yeah, God. that was this That's week's a good one. moment of the week. I um, said that I'm I'm beat. My ass hurts. I know I've been sitting here too long because my ass is killing me. And Ari, no. before you send us off oh, that's into right. the sunset, I just want to tell you guys about mm. our new friends. Whoa! In Tom's River, the smoothie oh, joint, right. man. So listen, if you like, are, he's probably leaving season soon. I got another month. Yeah, we'll give him a shout out, man. Yeah. If you are in this uh, Tom's River, New Jersey area, you have That's to right. hit the smoothie joint up. Delicious organic fruit smoothies. Always I've organic. Had it. You've had it. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Good Very shit. refreshing. I All natural ingredients. So good. Always organic. Never plastic or pretend. I had the uh, blueberry peanut butter okay. combo last I had, time I was uh, there. It's very good. The strawberry uh, bonanza. When he first put that out, that was up with the bananas and okay. strawberry, and he put the dates in there. Check him out on Facebook. He's always yeah. posting new stuff. Um, he's at 202 Kettle, Kettle Creek, Creek Road. Road. Got a brand new sign up, too. In the marina. You can see it nice and big. You have to go into the marina, mm-hmm. and then you'll see it there. Kettle Creek Road, smoothie joint. Shout out to Russo. Yep. Can't wait to get back over there, That's man. Right. Have another delicious, smoothie. delicious oh, smoothie. Yeah. smoothie. Ari. What you got, boss home, lady? Bro. Before you do anything else today, get online and go to allstarvintage.shop to check out their ever-evolving vintage sports apparel collection. Discover a curated collection of vintage sports apparel that celebrates the passion of sports enthusiasts and vintage lovers. If you want to check out more of the DoCast, I know you do, follow us on Facebook at DoCast420, on TikTok at the TheDudeCast, and on Instagram at the underscore dudecast. And as always, our show is produced by Chop Sports Media and available on Premier Streaming Network, the only place to watch the Dudecast. Lucky for you, though, you can subscribe and listen to the show on all major streaming platforms. Mm, Good shit, dude. You already know. With that, we're going to go enjoy the first night of football. I'm going to eat my iota Chinese before I left to come here, so when I get home, it's fresh and ready. Smart. Clever girl. Everybody take it fucking sleaze. We out. Go Jets.